Infectious diseases and personal protective equipment have both been around a long, long time. When properly worn and discarded, PPE minimizes the spread of disease like COVID-19. It's your personal responsibility to understand and practice these procedures to keep you and other health professionals and patients safe. There are several key steps when you put the equipment on, known as donning. It's just as important to take it off safely, known as doffing. First, identify and gather the proper PPE to don. This includes an appropriately fitted isolation gown, a NIOSH-approved N95 filtering face piece respirator, or higher level respiratory protection. If a respirator is not available, use a face mask. You'll also need a face shield, or goggles. Some facilities might have a face mask, face shield combo. Finally, you'll need a pair of disposable patient examination gloves. After you've removed any lab coats or other garments, perform hand hygiene by using alcohol-based hand sanitizer or washing your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Next, put on the isolation gown. Tie all ties or snap all snaps you may need assistance from another healthcare provider. You're now ready for the N95 respirator. When using a respirator with a nose piece, fit it to your nose using both hands. Do not bend or tent the respirator. Extend the respirator under your chin, protecting both your mouth and nose. Pull the top strap over your head, placing it on the crown. Then pull the bottom strap over your head, placing it at the base of your neck. Lastly, perform a user seal check. Use your hands to cover the surface of the respirator and gently exhale, checking that the face piece bulges slightly. Then. While keeping your hands over the respirator, take in a quick, deep breath, checking that the face piece collapses slightly. If air escapes through the edges, readjust the fit of your respirator and perform another user seal check. Do this each time you put the respirator on. If a respirator is not available, put on a face mask. Extend the face mask under your chin, protecting both your mouth and nose. If the mask has loops, hook them around your ears. If it has ties, secure them at the base of your neck and crown of your head. Next, put on a face shield or goggles. Once again, perform hand hygiene. Lastly, put on your gloves. Pull the gloves down so that they cover the wrist of the gown. You are now ready to enter the patient's room and perform your duties. When it's time to leave the protected environment, you'll need to safely remove your PPE. This is called doffing, and there may be more than one acceptable doffing method at your facility. It's just as important to understand doffing procedures as it is donning procedures. A wrong move here can spread contaminants to others. Before leaving the patient's room, remove and discard your gloves. Here, we're showing the door open for better viewing on the video, but in reality, you'll want to keep the barrier closed until you've removed your gloves and gown. Gloves can be removed using more than one technique. For the glove-in-glove -glove technique, pinch the outside of the glove near the wrist. Peel downwards, pulling the glove inside out. With your ungloved hand, slide your finger under the wrist of your remaining glove. Again, peel downwards, turning the glove inside out. Discard the gloves. For the beaking method, pinch the outside of the glove near the wrist. Using your finger, pull the glove inside out and over the fingers and thumb to form a beak. With the beaked hand, pinch the opposite glove at the wrist and pull downwards, turning the glove inside out. With the ungloved hand, pull the beaked glove off, touching only the inside of the glove. Next, remove your gown. 
untie all ties or unsnap all snaps. Some gown ties can be broken rather than untied. In that instance, break the ties gently, avoiding a forceful movement. Reach up to the shoulders and carefully pull or roll the gown down and away from the body. Dispose of the used gown. You may now exit the patient's room. After leaving the room, perform hand hygiene by using alcohol-based hand sanitizer or washing your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Be sure to clean your wrists where the edge of the glove was located. Carefully remove the face shield or goggles by grabbing the strap and pulling upwards and away from your head. Do not touch the front of the face shield or goggles. Next, if you are wearing a face mask, carefully untie the straps or unhook them from your ears and pull the mask away from your face without touching the front of the mask. If you are wearing a respirator, remove the bottom strap by grabbing only the strap and bringing it carefully over your head. Grasp the top strap and bring it carefully over your head. Then pull the respirator away from your face without touching the front. Perform hand hygiene once again after removing the respirator or face mask. You've now completed the doffing procedure. We at OSU Medicine want to say thank you to all the frontline healthcare workers who have gone above and beyond during the past few months. Thanks for keeping everyone safe.